Welcome to episode number 186 of the Dangerous Divas podcast, which is going to be the number one podcast for women trying to lose weight. And today I'm kind of switching it up um, and I'm going to share with you my 2022 goals because we are coming out to the end of the year and I kind of want to share my story. I've heard a lot of you have said that you want to hear um, a little bit more about my life and what I do and all that good stuff. So Today I'm switching it up and I'm going to tell you all about my 2022 goals, explaining them all for you. I have a vision board and I also have a piece of paper with all my goals that I had written on there last January. Um, so yeah, it's uh, I'm going to you know share a little bit more about my life, my goals and all of the above. And for those of you um, that didn't get it yet, I just finished my hacking the holiday guides which is going to help you step by step know exactly what to do during this holiday season so that you can stay on top of your goals and get results during the holidays if you want a copy drop me below this video i'll drop it into your messenger no email no opt-ins none of the good stuff i'll just drop it into your dms and for those of you that are listening to me for the first time or you don't know who I am and you're watching me right now. My name is Salome Abagur. Over the last three years, I have helped over 100 women lose 27 pounds in the first 90 days with my program called The Dangerous Divas. And in every single video, I like to give you a quick weight loss tip, a quick um, life update or things like that that you can implement immediately into your health and fitness journey. And because my entire goal is to give you the knowledge that you need to succeed forever. But today, I'm going to switch things up and share a little bit more about me, my goals, and all of the above of 2022. So I've got my sheet right next to me right now. And the way I do my goals is that I separate it into four different categories, okay? Every single year, I do this. I do a health category, wealth category, relationships, and personal, okay? So all of these things are different, and I'm going to get right into it. So um, I'll start with my personal relationships, wealth, and health. I'll do last. So... In 2022, in January 2022, I set these goals, okay? So they, my life has adjusted throughout the years, um, so throughout the years, so it's a little bit different, and I'll tell you which one I adjusted and things like that. But for a personal goal, I wanted to work with at least one brand deal. I wanted to get one brand deal, and I actually got like three or four, so I'm actually really excited about that, and this is one that I achieved. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to highlight it. Ooh, no, not Sharpie. We're going to highlight it because I actually got to do this one. Um, my next one was for a personal goal was going to the beach at least once a week. I live like 15 minutes away from the beach. Um, I do go at least every other week. I, we get so busy sometimes that I, I can't go once a week. But I would say I achieved it because that is something that I do on a daily basis. And then... Um, what I wrote here is believing in myself. Oh, I misspelled it. I just saw that. Believing in myself, dreaming bigger and bolder, be a hungry shark, and no excuses are valid enough. And what I mean by that is like, I'm always hustling and always dreaming. Um, <laughs> and by being a hungry shark and always wanting to push forward, I'm always pushing my limits and overcoming challenges that are not necessarily um common i guess you would say so this is what has helped me and no excuses are valid enough if i'm tired or i don't want to do something like i don't have any excuses unless i'm in, in dying in the hospital bed you know what i mean so yeah all right let's move on to relationships so my relationships um goals in 2022 was doing two out of the country trips I ended up doing three. One was unexpected. Um, so let's count two, really. We went to um, Guatemala and the Bahamas, and then I ended up going back to Reunion Island, which is where I'm from. It's a French island off of Madagascar, and I ended up going there for a week. I had to go for an emergency, though. Um, no friends after 7 p.m. I am pretty bad at that, but I try to not work after 7 p.m. So even if I am on my phone, I'm not working, if that makes sense. Uh, we do date nights weekly. We have family time and trips all the time. I got to see um, my grandma. Unfortunately, my grandpa passed away, but hey, whatever. And um, and then I started wedding planning, which I did do that. So boom, all of the above, all highlighted. Let's go. All right. Now let's talk about 
um, my wealth. So this is going to be crazy. And some of you guys are, it, it might seem like I'm uh, going out of the way, but it's, trust me, I know I can do this. So I wanted to make $10,000 a month consistently. I have not achieved that goal um, at all. And um, it's kind of hard because that has been a goal for mine for many years. But I have gotten close this year, the closest I've ever been. So I, I think we're getting close. I wanted to hit 200 episodes of podcast. I think we're going to end up with like 198. So I'm going to count that as a win, okay? I'm going to count that as a win. And the only reason is because I was gone for two weeks out of the year. Um, couldn't do an episode. Um, <laughs> I wanted to hit 100,000 followers on TikTok, but I am... but. Like I said, things change, my goals change, and my goal was actually to hit 70k in the middle of the year. I kind of changed that goal, um, and I actually just hit 70k, so I'm really, really happy. And then on Instagram, I went a little bold uh, in the beginning of the year, and then realized how unrealistic it was to hit 10,000 followers on Instagram. Um, I got to hit five, or um, I'm like... 13 followers away from hitting 5,000. So I'm really excited about that. And then we were supposed to buy a new truck for Lucas, but um, a lot of things happen and we have a lot more expenses. So buying a truck right now is not the best idea. So like I said, goals change, life happens, right? Now, in terms of my health, in 2021, I don't know if you guys know this, um, I actually won the 2021 World Jiu-Jitsu Championships last December. And I wanted to do it again, but I realized that that is not where I am in life of getting gold medals that are not going to lead me anywhere. What I mean by that is like, you're just getting a gold medal. Um, and some people will be really happy about that. But I wanted to make that kind of like a career, I guess you would say, not necessarily a career, but like a gig. And I realized that's not really what I want to do and how much I want to train. So um, I didn't get to go. It was last weekend, but it's okay. We're still achieving amazing goals and I am injured. So a lot of things happened that wasn't um, a good idea for me to go. Now, I wanted to be all in with my macros. I haven't been the best, like 100%, but I've been doing really, really good on my own. Um, so it's really great. Uh, I wanted the best mindset and having a champion mindset and showing up no matter what. And I think I really did show up this year no matter what so those are all my goals for 2022 i will be setting new goals in 2023 obviously i'm going to be a little bit more realistic but i want you to all remember that even the goals that we don't achieve those are the goals that you are going to work forward right that you might have to break down a little bit more and achieve more that way so that you can celebrate more so i think we have a pretty good understanding of you know, I have achieved like 90% of those, but also the, the little ones that I didn't achieve are still a little big deal. So it's all about adjusting it and throughout the years learning, you know, what is realistic and not. So those are my 2022 goals. Let me know if um, you want me to share my 2023 goals when I do set them next month. And also I want to hear in the comments if you guys are achieving your goals in 2022, which is super, super important. Like send me a message. Let me know if you have achieved your goals in 2022. But like I said, this episode was a little bit different. I wanted to switch it up and share a little bit more about me. If you guys don't like that, let me know because I'll cut it out. Um, and for those of you that are worried about the holidays, worried about not being on track or not being able to achieve results during the holidays, I've actually finished up, like I just finished creating my Hacking the Holidays guide. It's going to give you a step-by-step -step process on how to handle the holidays while staying on track and achieving results during the holidays. So if you want a free copy, message me on my Instagram or drop me, M-E, below this video and I'll drop it into your messenger. I appreciate you all for um, listening to me ramble on about my goals and how much I have achieved. And remember, keep your head up. Even if you didn't achieve every single one of your goals, it is still you're still one step closer and you're still moving forward to these goals. So let's get it. You guys are absolutely amazing and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. <laughs>